Every day has an evening, every boat has a captain, and every story has a hero. Or as those dang English majors would say, a protagonist. Whatever the hell that means. Anywho, I know you're here to hear a story. Otherwise you wouldn't be sitting there watching two guys walking while listening to that newfangled techno music. So if you want to hear a good story, allow me to tell you about this guy. This here is Daniel Evans. That's the name it says on his student ID, anyway. He don't like that name too much, however. He calls himself Devo. Now, I don't know why, but then again, I don't know much. That man to his side there is his best friend, Barry. These two guys are the best at what they do. Although what they do isn't exactly the best thing to do. Now, I forgot what the hell I was going to say. Let me just conclude this here introduction by telling you all that you ain't never heard a story like this before and chances are you ain't never gonna hear it again. So pay attention and enjoy. May I interest you man in a, an ad sheet? Not really, I'm in a hurry. Oh, certainly not such an, a hurry that you'd pass up a free back alignment. That's fine, thanks so much. How about 75% off a, a custom picture frame? I don't own any pictures. Well, hey, well, look, about, it's Superman. What? It's, Chill out, we're gonna be late. That was good. Oh. Not as good as taking money from you two, job bro. Hey! <laughs> nah. Man, yeah, why do you have to diss us like that? Uh-uh, you set out to prove something, you failed out. Hey, I'm giving it up. Ooh, look at all those green presidents. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, T.A. Brady is proud to present the Blitz 2000 Tag Team Champions of the World! Woo! We got the devious Devo, badass Barry McGrath, the New Age Outlaw! Wow! So, so how's your score today? I don't know, I was just about to add it up. Oh, fudge. You know, Alan, if you uh, wouldn't keep falling so much, your pencils probably wouldn't get broken. But they didn't fall, you... Damn, do we what the hell out of those guys? What's up? We did, but I wish you hadn't hustled them into betting. If the old man catches us betting on games, he's going to throw us out. And if that happens, I don't get to play in the... Ricky Studenmeyer Memorial Tournament. You're so paranoid about everything. You know, Devo's right, Barry. By gambling, which is illegal, I might add, you risk... Shut the fuck up, Alan. Man, I've been practicing for this tournament, too. Oh, but you don't give a rat's ass about winning. You just want to stick it to Benoit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking frog. Just because he's French doesn't mean you can call him a frog. Oh, yeah? Well, what else should I call him? Remember that time you cheated me at pool? He was just having fun with you. Oh yeah? Was it fun when he beat you at Tekken last week? 
You cannot see me while I'm kicking your ass! Fucking frog. My point exactly. You want to beat the piss out of him just as much as I do. Speaking of which, I'm thirsty. Alan, you're buying. Uh-uh, I bought last time. It's your turn. No can do. Deep, you gotta buy the crown. Why the hell should I? You're the one with the money. I know, but they won't take the, my card up at the machine anymore. Come on, dude. I'm trying to save this money to buy something nice for Jessica. That stripper you met at Chad's bachelor party? Oh, come on, man. God, dude, she wants me. Help a player out. <sighs> All right. You owe me. Thanks, man. Hey, Diva, while you're up, can you give me a pencil? Steve, please? Still with me? Well, you better be, you little turds, because this is good. Now, I'm sure you're asking yourself why it's so important that we see Devo buy these drinks for his friends. And that's why I'm telling you to shut the hell up. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. That clerk told that big son of a gun. That's the guy. That's Daniel Evans. Intriguing, isn't it? You know, I hear drinking excessive amounts of caffeine makes you empty. Dude, what the hell did you just say that for? I don't know. <coughs> I've got next. Fall in? Uh, You're not going to believe this, but... Can I help you guys? What the fuck? What are you doing? Let go of me! Get off me! What the fuck? Why the hell did they do that? Well... Where the hell's the money, Evans? What? What money? What, what do you want? Big Leo told us to get the money from you any way we could. So hand it over before we get creative. Money? What money? Who the hell is Big Leo? The man you owe 250000 to. What? Hey, Fez. Something seems weird to you. What? He ain't wearing no Greek letters. And man, where the hell are your Greek letters? Greek letters? The frat system can kiss my hairy ass. What? You mean you're not a part of the Delta Epsilon Mu? Do I look like I'd be in a fraternity? Shit! But his name is Daniel Evans. That just means there's more than one of them, dumbass. We gotta get the other one. Well, did you think of going to the DUM house and asking there? That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Sorry for the trouble. Yeah, no problem. Have a nice day. You too. <sighs> Bollocks. Man, I can't believe the fucking pussies did that. I mean, really, I'm if not they pulled that shit while I was around, oh, and they did apologize. I'll but... bust my foot off in their ass. Hey, Devo, where's your earring? Hey, shut the fuck up, Alan. I mean, the little pricks. They... Ah, we're... Hey, Devo, where is your earring? Crap, my earring. It must have fallen in the toilet. <laughs> shit, that thing cost me $75. And it looked good on you, too. And it looked good on me, too. Don't worry about it, man. We'll just go back and look for it. Oh! Oh, fuck that, Dee. If you want to find that earring, you're on your own. Don't oh, forget it. It's probably gone now, anyway. Oh. Well, why don't you just go down to the DUM house and uh, take it out of the other Daniel Evans' hut? 
What? Well, they obviously thought the other down the 11s was able to pay the money, right? Yeah, it seemed that way. So you go down there and tell that stupid frat boy to cough up the 75 bucks to replace the earring. Yeah, I could probably find him and uh, explain to him what happened. I'm sure he'd write me a check. Sure you could do that. It'd be a whole lot easier just to beat it out of him. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I can find this Daniel Evans. Daniel Evans? Isn't that your name, Devo? Alan, Jesus, were you listening to the D story? No, you hit me in the Well, corner. then shut the fuck up. And then it got loose downtown, and well, that's why they don't let us keep live animals here anymore. That's fascinating. Hey, isn't that a picture of the old Chancellor doing a keg stand? Yeah, that's uh, Chancellor Patrick, I believe. That picture was taken in 1992. Delta Epsilon Mu stopped a party, held a conjunction with the Alpha Sigma Sigma sorority house. Alpha Sigma Sigma. I get it. Get what? Delta Upsilon Mu, Alpha Sigma Sigma. I don't think I'm following. Dumbass. Excuse me? Never mind. So where's the beer? The beer? Beer, dude. Sir, this is a dry house. Can I just do a diet soda or something instead? You're a pledge, aren't you? I don't see what that has to do with it. Oh, come on. I can smell the goldfish on your breath. Now that's a form of hazing, and the system here at DUM clearly states... Yes, sir? Would you please send Mr. Evans up now? Yes, sir. Dan will see you now. Obedient little scrub, aren't you? Excuse me? Nice office. Uh, thank you, Mr. Evans. Devo. I like to be different. Devo it is, then. Skip told me the situation as you explained it to him. How may I help you? Well, it's my earring. <sighs> oh, your earring. Yeah, um, I lost it when those two guys were trying to shove me down the toilet. Well? They thought I was you. <laughs> now why would anyone mistake me for you? I know, that's what I thought. <laughs> because I'm so... Well, and you're so... Now wait a minute. Debo, I'm still a little unclear as to why you're here. Well, my friend and I figured that if they figured you to be worth $250,000... <sighs> I see what this is all about. Just because my father's rich, another stoner's coming to look for another handout. Hey, look, I haven't smoked since I was a freshman. I'll have you know, my father does not pave my way. I do, sir. I'm not accusing you of anything. All my success comes from one person. Me and me alone. Well, good for you, then it should be no problem for you to pay back Big Leo and compensate me for my earring. I always take responsibility for... Now, what did you just say? Compensating me for my earring? No, before that. That it'd be no problem for you to pay back Big Leo, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> Tivo, I'm sorry for my outburst earlier. Well, you'd better be. I'll write you a check and make sure that uh, Skip delivers it to you. Will that be all right? Well, now if uh, you'll excuse me, I have a lot of paperwork to do before the weekend. All right. But you don't even know how much the earrings worth. <laughs> uh, $200, should that cover it? Hell yeah. All right then, well thank you for dropping by and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Oh shit. Hello, Daddy. I need help. Hey Skip, is my brother around? Yeah, he's upstairs with some other guy. No, I'm here now. You were upstairs with my brother. Yeah? So? Well, he just doesn't seem like his type. <sighs> now, Daphne, I thought Dan told you not to talk about that in Nick's company. No, no. I, I was just telling him about these guys who roughed me up in the bathroom. Mm. Oh, no way. That, that sounded good. Uh, well, they were looking for him, and they thought that I was him. We have the same name. Your name is Dan Elvins, too? Yeah, well, actually, I call myself Devo. I like to be different. Well, I can see that. My name's Daphne. Dan Evans is my brother. Yeah, so I heard. That's funny, though. You don't look like the sister of a frat boy. Well, I like to be different, too. Maybe you and I should get together and talk about other things we've got in common. Now, Daphne, I think your brother will see you now. Oh, he can wait. No, I, I think you should go now. All right. Man, she is something. Yes, she is. Can you give me your number? 
No, I cannot. So I trust your meeting with Dan went well. Yeah, he's going to write me a check and have you deliver it to me. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. And he also told me to tell you to get me a beer. Very well. Anything else? Uh, yeah, one of those Cubans. All right. Hey man, thanks. I'll see you soon. Yeah, I can't wait. Hey asshole, thought you said my brother's upstairs. Yeah, well he was. Yeah, uh-huh. All I saw when I got up there was his desk had been cleared off and there was a rope of bed sheets hanging out the window. What the hell's going on here? That's odd. He usually just uses the stairs. Beautiful. There's still plenty of time to kick my ass. Yeah, don't you forget about it, Stud. So, D, heard you're in a foul of Big Leo. Well, sort of. I mean, they weren't looking for me. How the hell did you know about that? Squire's good about finding things out. He's got a sixth sense. Yeah, but that's not how I found out, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Barry was here earlier looking for you. Yeah, he seemed pissed about something. Of course, if I had his haircut, I'd be pissed, too. Well, I'd better find Barry. Square, you know a lot, right? Yeah, that's what I've been told. Well, who is Big Leo? Well, you ever seen The Godfather? Yeah. Well, he's kind of a mix of all three of the Don Corleones. All three? Yep, right here in Columbia, too. Which three? What the fuck do you mean, which three? There was the fat one, uh, Marlon Brando. Uh, there was his son, uh, Pacino, Al Pacino. And uh, then there was the other guy. Uh, what, what the fuck was his name? James Caan. No, sweet fucking Christ, it wasn't fucking James Caan. He got off in the first one. I know, babe. Devo's probably confused because he thinks that James Caan was one of the Dons, but he never officially became one. I thought he did. No, no, no. He died before it ever became official. Andy Garcia was the third Don in Godfather 3, Andy after Garcia. Pacino gave it up. Andy Garcia, that was his name. Oh, I see. That's bad. What? You like The Godfather? No, I mean bad that Big Leo's looking for me. Well, looking for Daniel Evans. Daniel Evans? That's your name, Devo. Squire, weren't you listening to anything Barry said earlier? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, well, I wouldn't worry about it, Dee. Those men that Big Leo's got working for him are professionals. I'm sure they'll get whatever they want out of that other guy, and they'll leave you alone. Evans, we know who you are, and we know where you live. Now hand over the money. Hey, Fez. I think we screwed up again. Damn it all. You're probably right. Well, uh, I better go find Barry. So I'll see you both at the tournament. Of course, Devo. We've got a score to settle with Benoit. Fucking frog. Well, I'll uh, see you all later. Bye, Devo. Later, D. Oh, <laughs> shit. Where the hell have you been? With your mom. Why? Yeah, well, old man Brady's been looking for you. Oh, 
shit. Yeah, that's right, and he asked me. Why is Devo not paid his entrance fee to the tournament yet? I know, I know, it's just I don't get paid until Wednesday. Yeah, that's what I figured, and I was telling him that when Ben Wash showed up. If your friend Devo does not pay his entrance fee on Friday, he will not be entered in the tournament. And it was at that point I calmly told him, get the fuck out of my face. Oh, bullshit, you didn't do that. It was probably more like... If your friend Devo does not pay his entrance fee on Friday, he will not be entered in the tournament. Uh, yeah, well, you smell. Doesn't matter. The fact is, you need to pay your entry fee by Friday. You're out. I know, I know, but where am I gonna get that kind of money? Look, I told you guys I'm not the guy you're looking for. We know that. We have been asked by our employer, Big Leo, to escort you to his premises so that you two may converse about the topics at hand. What did you say? Just get in the damn car. What? What? Hey! Steve, don't worry, man. I'll, uh, I'm gonna call some of my boys and... You ain't got any boys. Damn! Why you gotta bring that up? I got boys! I know pe- I know people! PlayStation. Put in tech and I'm tired of this low-tech shit. But I was beating you with that too, Barry. Shut the fuck up, Alan! Excuse me. Is this Diva's room? Who wants to know? My name's Daphne Evans. I spoke with him earlier today. Are you guys his roommates? No, he lives by himself. Then what are you doing here? We're waiting for him to get back. Evans, are you Devo's sister? Jesus, Alan. You know Deves is an only child. Did she say she was his sister? No, I didn't, but I... Well, that's good, because I thought I was going to have to regulate. Regulate? Yeah, if someone was impersonating my best friend's sister, I think I was going to have to. What? Listen, asshole. I never said I was Devo's sister. I'm Daniel Evans' sister. So you are impersonating Devo's sister. No, Barry, I bet she means the other Daniel Evans. Shut the fuck up, Alan. God. Do you mean the other Daniel Evans? Yes, that asshole frat boy Daniel Evans. I'm looking for him, and Devo may know where he is. What do you mean? I went to look for him today. His bags are packed, and he's disappeared. I came to see Devo to see if he knew anything. Yeah, well, Devo's off talking to Big Leo right now. What? Are you fucking deaf? I said, Alan, why haven't you gotten this gorgeous woman a chair? But I... Get her a goddamn chair! Look, I don't want a chair. I just want to know why Devo's talking with Big Leo. I think I can answer that. Hey, Daphne, what's up? Not much. Heard you had to talk with Big Leo. So did you beat the hell out of him? Oh, I... Shut I... the fuck up, Alan! Well, it's actually an interesting story. So those two goons lead me up to this nice, friendly looking old man who introduces himself as Big Leo. I'm sitting here too scared to say anything for about five minutes when he finally says, Nah, don't worry, son. I'm not the scary Italian mob boss that everyone makes me out to be. In fact, I'm not even Italian. The accent is fake, you know. <laughs> you see, it seems that a man has a little more respect for my business associates. I mean, it's honestly, eh? Who's gonna take a Canadian mob boss seriously, eh? Oh, that's a good point, sir. Please, 
Call me Leo. I'm still a little confused because this guy seems too nice to have anything to do with the mob, and I ask him. You do know that I'm not the Daniel Evans you're looking for, right? Yes, yes, yes. And I know this has caused some confusion between me and my boys. And I also understand that they caused you to lose your earring. And for this, I am sorry. Well, it looked good on me. I am sure that it did. And it embarrasses me to say that the reason for calling you here today was not for an apology. That's when he hit me with the news. He hit you? That bastard! No, he didn't hit him, you dumb bastard. He said Leo hit him with the news. Who the hell are you? Come on, Barry, she's just trying to- Shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up Alan. Alan! Hey, why don't you two shut the fuck up? Let Devo finish your story so I can finish my meal. Sorry, Leo. Yeah, you should be. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. No, no, Devo. It seems the Daniel Evans that I'm looking for has disappeared. My boys and I can't find him anywhere. Well, that, that sucks. More than you can imagine. You see, I have my reputation as a scary Italian mob boss to maintain. If I lose this reputation, I lose my power. If I lose my power, things will go to hell in this little town. What does that have to do with me? Well, you see, I can't let the word get out that a man named Daniel Evans did not pay me the money that he owed me. So, I have to collect from Daniel Evans. Any Daniel Evans. I hope you told him to stick it up Shh. his... I know that this doesn't seem fair, but I have to maintain my rep somehow. I understand. Did you entered in a video game tournament? Oh, you mean the Ricky Studenmeyer Memorial Tournament? Yes, yes, that one. And I also understand that the payoff for this video game tournament is equivalent to the money that Daniel Evans owes me. So, you enter this video game tournament, you win, I take the money, and I call it dead off. But I could really use that money. I know that it doesn't seem fair. But it's the only way that I can think of for me to save my face and for you to save your skin. Now, I think you're a good kid, though. And I'd like to help you. Is there anybody you need uh, rubbed out? Oh, I mean, Stupid American. Huh? No, I think I can win on my own. I appreciate it, though. That's what I'm here for. I know it seems like this isn't fair. But let me tell you something, son. It'll all work out for the best. Dude, that is the biggest load of crap I've ever heard. I can't believe that Canuck expects you to pay the prize money just because that jerk-off frat boys give town. Yeah, Dave. I'm real sorry my brother got you into this, little fucker. Oh, it's not your fault, Dad. I can call you Daff, right? Besides, the trip was almost worth it just to see what I saw next. What's that? Bonjour, Monsieur Leo. How are you this fine evening? Uh, I'm doing great, baby. Hey, I'd like you to meet my new friend, Devo. Ah! Evans, les suis. I didn't know you work here. I, I thought you said you uh, were interning at the French Studies Department. <laughs> you said that? <laughs> I don't even think there is a French Studies Department. Monsieur, may I take your order? Yes. I'd like the filet mignon and a bottle of your finest Chardonnay. Excellent choice, Monsieur. Uh, uh, oh, don't worry, Devo. I am paid. Well, in that case, I'd like a cheeseburger, fries, and a Bud Light. In that case, Evans, may I remind you there is a steak and shake down the street. Hey, Benny! Do I need to talk to the manager? No, yeah, monsieur. I think that's what I It's what I thought. Fucking frog. <laughs> I can't believe he said that. Maybe he's not so bad after all. Oh, he's the nicest mob boss I've ever met. 
He even gave me the cash to pay for my entry fee. It's not very fair you have to pay your winnings. Oh, that's if I can't even win. Shit. Come on, Dave. I don't want to hear that shit. You'll win. I mean, that's if I get sick and can't show up. <laughs> No, I think Devo can beat you, too. Shut the fuck up, Alan! Jesus! The point is, Devo, is that you got nothing to worry about. I'm a little confused. Exactly what is this tournament? You mean the- The Ricky Studenmeyer Memorial Tournament! Um, how'd you do that with your voice? Do what? Never mind. Well, you see, it's this annual video game challenge held every year in honor of some guy named Ricky Studemeyer who died years ago. You see, legend has it that Ricky could beat any arcade game made. So to honor him, Old Man Brady created this tournament to be a kind of Iron Man for all the game players. Once all the entries are received, each player is paired with their opponent through random drawing. Brady then at random chooses what game will be played throughout that round. This keeps the participants guessing which game they will get to play. Whoever wins the match moves on to the next round where Brady chooses a new game and keeps going until there is one person left. The winner gets $250,000 in prize money, a trophy, and bragging rights for the whole year. That they're just as good as Ricky. $250,000? That's how much you owe because of my brother? Well, that's if I can even win. Of course, it's, it's not about the money for me. I just like, you know, doing what I'm good at. And what's that? Having fun. Wait, dude, it's all about making the money. Whatever. Uh, guess what I need to do tomorrow is pay my registration fee and start practicing. God, why does shit always happen to me? I don't know, dude, must be your karma. Man, you're out of soda. Get the hell out of my room, Barry! You drink the last of my soda and you talk about my karma, you prick. Get out! Alright, I'll let go this time seeing how you've had a bad day and all. GET! GET! Let's go. Let's go. My game. Shut the fuck up. Let's go. <laughs> my friends. Listen, I feel real bad about the situation my brothers put you in. It's not your fault. No, it is. You see, a couple of weeks ago, Danny came and asked me for the money. He asked you for $250,000? Yeah, well, my family's kind of wealthy, and while well, I invest my money in stocks, he's investing his in keggers and beanie babies. Don't ask. Anyways, I put the little prick ass dad for help, and instead of giving him the money, dad gave him a ticket for Vegas. Again. A little shit. Anyways, I'm getting off track. I just wanted to let you know that because you're being so understanding with all this crap going on, I'm going to help you out. What? I... Listen, Leo told me you'd help me out with competition, but... No! I've been giving you a little insurance. For some reason or another you don't win, I'm gonna pay your debt to Big Leo. No, I... I could not ask you to do that. You're not asking. And besides, it'll make up for the time I told Dan there was no Santa Claus. Daphne, I don't know what to say, but... Thank you, I... Say no more! It's getting late. I gotta get home. What do you say we discuss this a little more over dinner? Dinner? Well, I would say drinks, but I don't want to be too forward. How about 8 o'clock at Teller's? Sure. Great. I'll see you there then. Bye, Daphne. Bye. Yes, it seems as though Lady Luck has finally begun to smile on our hero. Score! The problem is, is that Miss Luck is a lot like my ex-wife. She can be a real temperamental bitch. Because even though things are going Devo's way, evil forces are plotting against him. 
So you understand what I am telling you? Right. I get this guy Devo and his friend Barry to play some arcade game. And then I get them to play for money? That's right. And while you do that, I will go and tell Old Man Brady and Devo and Barry will be kicked out of the arcade. They won't be able to enter the tournament. Ha 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 ha! And I will be the greatest player in all the land! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Just shut up and laugh! <laughs> <laughs> It's my honor now to present the winner of this year's Ricky Studenmeyer Memorial Video Game Tournament. Devo, on behalf of the Ricky Studenmeyer State, I present you with this winning trophy. Thank you, Mr. Brady. To present to this year's winner, Benoit. Benoit? Ah, merci, Devo. And on behalf of the nation of France, I would just like to say... <laughs> I don't understand how... How did I lose? But you suck, Devo. But I didn't even get a chance to play. That's right, you got disqualified for being a loser. Yeah, I hope you don't mind, Dee. But Alan and I are gonna start hanging around with Benoit. But I... Shut don't... the fuck up, Devo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you can forget about ever going out with me. But Daphne... Sorry, Dee. You're cute and nice. But I don't date losers. Instead, I'm gonna go out with Benoit. Benoit? <laughs> you know I always be better than you, Devo. Why? Because I beep, 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 beep. Fucking frog. What's your hurry, Devo? Hey, Sage. Uh, I'm off to the arcade. <sighs> Finally gonna enter that tournament, aren't you? Yep. Well, good luck with that. Good luck with that girl. Thanks, but... How'd you know about that girl? Oh, I was uh, sleeping across the street and I saw her leave. She's a nice one. Yeah, she's nice. She's uh, a little too nice. <laughs> How's that? Well, um, she's upper class and... You have no class. Something like that. Devo, would you believe that I used to date Sandra Bullock? Nope. Just like most people probably wouldn't believe that she asked you out first. Well, uh, how'd you know that? My point is, sometimes the most wonderful romances are the ones that defy expectations. That could be what you got here. Live it for what it's worth, Devo. You're right. Of course I'm right. Hey, now get along. You got a busy day. Well, thanks, Sage. Give him a good song to wake up to. I will, Dave. Hey, you've been looking through my bedroom window again, haven't you? No comment.
Now I don't mean to be so forward that you're taking it back But you're the kind of face that makes me rush an attack I think you got the special moves to put your hold on me Why don't you up, up, down, down, why, why? Because, baby, when I'm with you, it's a feeling I can't ignore Feel the power flowing like more blue No! G no! Jesus! Stay! Stay in the goddamn Pokeball! God damn Pokemon! Oh! Got to get them all! Barry, are you okay? Damn po Fuck it! Yeah! Damn! <sighs> Anyways, dude, I, uh, I registered today. Did you? Well, I registered last week. Alan, am I talking to you? Well, no, but... Hey, shut the fuck up! I'm going to register right now. Dude, will you get on it? All right, then. <laughs> That's the way I want. Oh, ho, ho, Lee. Lido. Bob, don't just walk in because I sure as hell smell a chump. Well, I showered this morning. No, go down there. Tell me, she does not look like an easy hustle. Oh, Barry, I don't know. What if you get caught? Alan, I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> so, Devo, I see you're finally entering the tournament. That's what it looks like. We. Oui. So, how did your meeting with Big Leo go last night? I don't recall that being any of your business, Benny. Fair enough. I just wouldn't want to see anything happen to you between now and said tournament. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing at all. I just... <laughs> no. Not that one. No, not that one. What? Excuse me. Where's Barry? Pikachu, why choose you? Alan. Oh, uh, he's over there hustling somebody. He's gambling. Gone. Does he want us to get kicked out? I tried telling him. Shit, wait right here, I'll be back. Oh, dude, I haven't had this much fun since my mom broke my Nintendo. Yeah, it rocks, doesn't it? It reminds me of that one game that I always had to, like, use, like, the special code to get 30 extra lives. Oh, it was the, uh, uh what was it? It was the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, yeah, right. BA select, select start. start. Yeah. All right. Excuse me, moi. What the fuck do you want, Frenchie? You were supposed to play Devo, not this. These, these, this, these, this. what? These Americans. <sighs> Shut up, man. I haven't been in an arcade in years. I'm having a lot of fun, so fuck off, man. Oh, we had the deal. She said fuck off. We're trying to play a game here. Ha! Not like me. Me too. No <laughs> way. I'm over here negotiating with Captain Ricard. Yeah, I guess it's kind of cheap, but uh, a bet's a bet. Yeah, you were lucky. Why don't, uh, why don't we say we go double or nothing? I might consider it. Uh, first you gotta show me how you did the thing with the fireball, though. Oh, there's no problem. You just... Then why? I thought I told you to fuck... Hey, D. You want to help me win my money back? I thought you said you weren't going to hustle anyone anymore. I'm not hustling her. She won. I mean, only because I was distracted by Benny over there. Jesus, Barry, does this tournament not mean anything to you? Come on, dude, you're being way too serious. Well, this means a lot to me, and it's not just because of the money or the mob. Look, D, sorry. I spend a lot of hours in here getting ready for this tournament, and I can't do that if I am constantly having to bail your ass out of trouble. So here, take the money. What the hell is going on here? Good day, Mr. Brady. Zero the gambler. Thanks a lot, Ben. Why I can see him? I just uh, was too good. I, I mean, watch. Uh, watch from a distance. Look, Mr. Brady, this is not what it looks like. It looks like Barry and you are hustling another one of my customers. Well, no. I... Yes, I mean, look, Mr. B, you weren't hustling her. I mean, she won. I did? I don't care who won. I've got strict rules against gambling in my place. You know it and you know it, and you've been warned. Now get the hell out of my place. But, Mr. Brady, I did Look, Diva, you're a big disappointment. Now get out. But what about the... Go! Come on! Out! 
Deal, man. Slow down. I'm sorry. Sorry does not cut it. Do you have any idea what you cost me in there? Yeah, about 250 grand. It's always about making money, isn't it? Oh, God damn it, Barry! Do you realize how long I've wanted to win that tournament? Jesus, it's just a little tournament. Maybe to you, but it's all I've got, and you fucked me out of it. Jesus, calm down, Devo. Calm down? I'll calm down when I feel like it. You always fuck things up for me. I've got a date with Daphne tomorrow night. You wanna fuck that up too? You got a date with that Evans chick? That's score, baby. Does she got a little sister? Always thinking about yourself. Screw you! Man, we can work this out, can't we? Why can't we work this out, Diva? We're friends, right? Alan, what do you think? I think I'm about to catch a level 70 Pokemon. Game. No way! That's a Mewtwo! I've been looking for one of those. I'm out of here. Uh, hold on, Devo. Hey, Devo! You dropped your lucky token! <laughs> oh, fuck. Now, this is the part of the story that I really don't enjoy telling very much. Alan never was very lucky. And even Devo's lucky token couldn't save him from his shitty luck. I can't believe Alan's gone. Me neither. Well, at least I don't have to pay him the money I owe him. <laughs> Didn't you get the letter from his parents' lawyers? No. Why? Mr. McGrath, the debts owed to one Mr. Alan Parsons have been in accordance with his will, been regulated to his parents and must be paid? What the fuck is this? Yep. He was only 19. Why the hell did he have a will? Because he was more responsible than either of us. Well, did you get an envelope? Yeah, I got a check. A check? What the? Well, the... Alan kept track of all the money I lent him and the soda and snacks I gave him. Well, how much was it? Not much, just two weeks worth of stuff. Oh, don't even think about asking to borrow the money. What? Come on, Dave, I wasn't go... All right, I was, but... but Dave, come on, wait! Shit! Let's fuck shit up! God. You know, if I hadn't been gambling, you wouldn't have been pissed at me. You wouldn't have lost your lucky token. Now I wouldn't have... Come on, shit. Bear, it's... It's not your fault, it's just... Oh, shit, man. Yeah, well, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Let's get, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, that lady friend of yours is inside. Oh, shit! I forgot about our date. With Alan, uh, dying and everything, I just... Yeah, that is a shame. I really am sad to see that boy gone. You owed him money, didn't you? Affirmative. Well, I'd better go inside and uh, explain myself to Daphne. See you later. See you later, Dave.
Hey, Daphne. You look great. Really? Thank you. Yeah. That's what I wore for our date last night. I figured I could give you another chance to see me in it. Look, Daphne, I'm really sorry about that. I just... Hey, it's okay. That strange guy with the guitar he explained everything to me. I'm real sorry about your friend. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad you're not mad at me. At least something is going right. What's that supposed to mean? Well, Barry got me kicked out of the arcade yesterday, which means now I can't play in the tournament. Dude, I'm, I'm sorry. That's what Barry said. And it looks like I might have to ask for that loan from you after all. Yeah, sure, that's okay. But are you going to be okay? Yeah, I mean, I still miss Alan, and I did have a place picked out for that trophy, but you're still here, so... I'm okay. I'll tell you what, since I stood you up, and since you're gonna loan me 250 grand, why don't I buy you dinner? Sure. What'd you have in mind? How does pizza sound? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't played this game in the longest time. Yeah, and that's really weird because you are the first girl I know who even knows how to play Mortal Kombat. <laughs> oh, I used to be really good. Now I only remember a few things. Like, <laughs> ripping your head off! Shit. Yeah, baby. So... Is there a reason why you haven't kissed me yet? I... I'm still trying to figure it out. Figure what out? Why a girl like you would be interested in a slacker like me. You really want to know? Well, at first I thought you'd be a good way to piss my parents off. Great. At first. But... After you explained what you were gonna be willing to do because of my shithead brother, I figured you were a compassionate guy. And after this fine dinner, <laughs> you're the sweetest man I know. And I'm cute. Yeah, okay. And you're cute. Enough of this foreplay shit. Oh, hold on just a minute. Diva, it's okay. I've got a condom. No, it's not that. Oh, man! Go home, Sage. Oh, man! Come on, Dave! Very funny, though. <laughs> 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 
That's one fine-looking lady you got there, dude. Ah, fuck! Um, I mean, not as fine as my sweet Valentine here. That's better. Thanks for the compliment, Squire. But what are you two doing here so early? Two reasons. First, we wanted to offer you our condolences about Alan. Thanks, but Alan wouldn't want us to be bummed out about this forever. And I'm sure he's gone on to a better place. Yes! Mark it, Miss Joplin. I haven't bowled this well since I was alive. That's ah, great, man. Only piece of advice for you. Let God win the first set. Otherwise, he gets real mad and starts blowing shit up. Church uses that works in mysterious ways bullshit. Gets real messy. Oh, you're right. Oh, nuts. You'll get it next time, sir. <laughs> yeah, better place. Uh, the other reason we're here is to tell you about... Uh, oh yeah, the other reason is Old Man Brady wants to talk to you. Old Man Brady wants to talk to me? Why? Don't know. Just told us to tell you. Shit, I'd better get over there. Thanks, guys. No problem, Dave. Hey, I know. Why don't we go find that Daphne girl so you can get a piece, too? Honey, I was just looking. Ah, oh, bloody fucking Christ! <laughs> Devo! Hey, Devo, how much you know about the tournament? Uh, well, um... It's in honor of Ricky Studenmeyer. He died a few years ago. The tournament forces its competitors to be good at pretty much every game in the arcade. Yeah, that's right. But do you know why we chose to honor Ricky? Sir? I didn't think so. You see, Devo, when I first opened this place, I really didn't get to know my customers very well. Except for one guy. Ricky. That's right. You see, Ricky was here nearly every day, playing every game he could. While the other customers used the arcade as a diversion from their classes, I could tell that Ricky was different. He did it because he enjoyed it. In my years of work for the video game industry, I'd lost sight of what truly mattered. The fun. Ricky made me realize that what I'd forgotten, and that was the fact that we play games for fun, not for the money or the glory, but the fun. Soon after I met Ricky, I gave him a job here at the arcade. He wanted to stay late one night so he could play his favorite game, Miss Pac-Man. No one is sure what happened next since he was there all by himself, but what we've been able to figure out is that he was about to score a perfect game. I couldn't see where I was going. Well, maybe somebody should turn on a light, eh? Yeah, no shit. Oh my god, did he... Did he get the perfect game? No one knows for sure. But I know he did. And how was that? Because he died with a smile on his face. Mr. Brady, I beg your pardon, but why did you call me in here? Well, Mr. Evans, I understand that you've had quite the overwhelming week. What with Alan dying, the mob wanting money you didn't even owe him, the new girlfriend, and all the other crap that comes with college life. You've been talking to Sage, haven't you? Devo, I've decided to give you a second chance. What? Well, I've decided to let you back into the arcade and thus let you back into the tournament as well. Thanks, but... Well, the whole situation seemed a little bit froggy to me, if you will. I mean, the fact that you were at the exact spot that Benoit said you would be. Fucking frog. My point exactly. That, coupled with the fact that I know you're never going to let this happen again, makes me decide to let you back into the tournament. I've decided to let Barry in as well. 
Barry? Really? Well, for a different reason. Oh, please, Mr. Brady. I'll do anything, Mr. Brady. Clean the toilets? Sure, Mr. Brady. Christ, I ought to have my head examined. Thanks, Mr. Brady. I, I don't know what to say. Ah, uh, there's no need to say anything. Just go have some fun. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Brady. You win one for Ricky. So come out, a little angel. You can't be that strong. You can't repair the outside of your life when you know the inside's wrong. Let go with all your time and fall into perfect love. And give up your struggling. You're not anything but your nothing, is it now? Sure. Look, D. Don't worry about it. So this guy in the bar, right? His name's Tom Burka, right? I'm talking oh, to this yeah. fucking guy. He's so ugly. I said, hey, you, you're ugly. He said, it's not my fault. I said, I don't care if you're a hockey player. You're still ugly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Devo! How you doing today, my friend? I hear you've been having some troubles this week. Oh, yeah, but uh, don't worry about it, Big Leo. I've got it, got it taken care of. Well, that is very good to hear. I hope you don't mind. I think that me and my boys are going to uh, stop by the tournament this week, you know, to uh, root you on. Yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah. Hey, Sage, you ought to come with us too tomorrow. Hey, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe I will. Hey, maybe afterwards we can have ourselves a night out. Well, hell, why wait till tomorrow? Let's go now, huh? All right. <laughs> hey, Devo, y'all come with us. Oh, no thanks. I'm gonna get some rest for the tournament tomorrow. Yeah, whatever, Devo. You're gonna be spending the night with that Betty of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the hell up, Sage. <laughs> hey, you, what are you doing? Uh, I, you see, I... Uh... Hey, y'all come with us. Uh, huh? Yeah, hey, is that yeah. Coach UD? Yeah. Have fun, Bear. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Well, all right, let's go then, huh? Hey. All right, so, uh, Mr. Leo, we'll be... Ooh, 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 hey. uh, well, I was thinking first we might go to a couple of uh, bars. I was looking for a few uh, beers. Hey, maybe we'll stop by Club Bogue after. Really? Hey, I know this girl Jessica you ought to meet. Really? Well, yeah. Jessica from Chad's bachelor party? Oh, uh -huh, let me tell you about it. Woo! Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, hey, that sounds good. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah baby. <laughs> so I hear you're back in the competition? Yep. Brady let me back in the arcade. So you wouldn't mind if your number one fan showed up to cheer you on? Not at all. Oh, hey, D. D. Jeez, Barry, what do you need? Some money? No, nah, man, Lou's got me covered. Um, I just wanted to give you something. Forgot about it. There you go. My earring. How? D hey, hey. Do not even ask. Hey, right. we but, going to what? Uh, hell yeah! Hey, you kids have some fun. I'll see you later. What's up? Not much. <laughs> Thank you. 
you at the arcade? Wouldn't miss it for the world. Folks, excuse me. We're about to start the competition. Hey, we thought you weren't going to make it. Sorry, I'm late. I had um, a paranormal encounter. Devo, next time you're at a Clockwork Universe concert, somebody offers you a sugar cube, just say no, man. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'll be right back. Ready? What do you say that for? Of course I'm ready. I'm so ready, I'm about to, uh... Well, yeah, you know. You're not ready, are you? <laughs> not a bit. Um, when you returned your entry form, you were either given a blue card or a red card. If you were given a red card, stay here and draw your opponent's name from the hat. If you're given a blue card, come with me so we can choose the game you'll play. <laughs>
A hut. Danny! Shh, shh. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you skipped the country. I was going to. Daddy gave me a ticket for Germany. Then why are you still here? Because Big Leo could trace the ticket, so I gave it to Skip. <laughs> Do you know you put Devo through? Devo? You mean the piece of shit you've been sleeping with? That's why I've been following you. Why? To put an end to it, to stop you seeing that slacker. Stop seeing that! You owe the mob money, you've been running around like the little chicken shit that you are, and you have the gall to call him a slacker? Hey, Leo, got something for you. Hey! Hey! You ready? I think so. Now you're gonna be fine. Mr. Brady, we have a problem. What is it? What's wrong? Alan Parsons, shit. Whoa, whoa, what is this shit? Ah, well, Alan's dead, Benoit. Exactly my point. This is why I should win by forfeit. What? I, I guess I really wait, don't have wait. any other choice. Can I still uh, get in on this? Well, I, uh... I have my registration form on my interview. No, no, the application deadline was yesterday. Well, you're right, Benoit. The application is supposed to be turned in the day before the tournament. <laughs> However, in the case that a competitor can't compete, those rules can be overturned. No, 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 no. In order that a proper right. replacement can be found. <laughs> I'm sorry, Benoit, but congratulations. You and Benoit will be competing in the first round. If you go there over to the table, but choose All the right, game cool. that you'll be playing. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's let the games begin. just beat his opponent, so he gets to play whoever wins here between Valentine and Benoit. And Devo's playing that uh, Squire kid in the semis, right? Yep. Guys, trying to watch? <laughs> I'm victorious! 
I am the greatest player in all the land! Ho ho ho! Oh, boy, <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like I got old Benny next. Let's hit it, baby. Go get him, Slugger. How's Val? Ah, oh, she's pissed, but she'll be all right. Ready to play? That's what I'm here for. Good ball. Oh, put that right there. Go on the ramp. No, go up that way. That way. Come <laughs> on, you can do this. No! Oh. Uh. That was a good ball, man. Yeah, thank you. I gotta get this done. Alright. I gotta get the monster mosh pit. Almost there. Watch out for Dracula. Ah! Ah! It happened to all of us. It was a good game, though. It's okay. I'm proud of you. That was a good game. You too. It was just, it was just a hard pinball game. It's my hand to lose, man. It's my hand to lose. Hey, hey, hey. Barry and Benoit just started playing. You should know I will be victorious. I think you got some badass car got there, Benny. This is my house. And a man does not get beat in this house. Oh, Barry, don't get cocky. I ain't cocky. I'm good. As you can see I'm about to pull off my Mega Jack Assassin attack. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all night. Oh. Yeah. Barry, he got up. What? Finish him. Uh, oh. Ah. <laughs> Fatality. Dude, he just ripped out your spine. Oh. Yes, I am victorious! Thank you! Yes, I am number one! Bye. Yes! Thank that is an odd finger to you, so yes, I am number one! Thank you! Come on. Come on. It's only his spine. Barry, come on. Get Barry. up. Get up. Barry, get up. Barry. Barry. Come on, Barry. Spy! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The final match for the $250,000 in the trophy will be between Benoit and Devo. What we'll do is we'll choose the final game, then we'll have a five minute intermission. If you two gentlemen would join me up here. And the final game is uh, Super Mario Kart on Nintendo 64. Uh, you two have five minutes to get ready for this, and if you would, shake hands. May the best man win. So can you win? I don't know. Uh, Benoit is really good at this game. You want I should break his hands for you? No thanks. I think I can handle this on my own, but thank you, Leo. Let's not rule anything out here, Pete. Shut up, Terry. <laughs> Unhand me this instant! <laughs> yeah. Mr. Evans! So glad that you could join us. He almost got away from us. Yeah, but this guy tripped it for us. Guten Tag! Skip? <laughs> it's Steven, actually. It was this jerk's idea to call me Skip. He always tells me what to do. Skip, you asshole, help me! You always say you'll call, but you never do. Steven, thank you for your assistance. Now, Mr. Evans, what am I going to do with you? You're not gonna kill him, are you? No, no. Too many witnesses. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Can I may make a suggestion? Yeah, it's a very good idea. Mr. Evans, I am not going to kill you. On two conditions. Number one, you stay out of your sister's personal business. Uh, done. Number two, you are going to be the personal servant of my newest employee. And you're gonna do everything he says. If he says jump, you says how high. If he says speak, you says what language. He, you, sir, are gonna be his bitch. Who is this new employee? 
Me? Well, you know, as long as you would like to. Me work for you? Yeah. Prepared to work for this guy. Organized crime should be an honor. I take that as a yes then. No, I mean, be reasonable, Skip. Come on, guys. Let's persuade him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Devo, it looks as if my business with you has been concluded. What? Well, since uh, Evan's going to pay me back the money that he owes me eventually, and since I have the right man for a change, I don't need to get the money from you. And that means I can keep the money? And that means that Daphne here will not have to pay you back the money should you lose. Mr. Leo, that's the best news I've had all week. That means there's no pressure on you to win. Well, I still think I should get back at Benoit for beating Barry. Nah, man, you were right. I was cocky. You know, I, I lost. It's my fault. Go ahead and uh, win this one for yourself. Barry, that is the most unselfish thing I've ever heard you say. Uh, thanks. I think. It's now the important thing for you to do. Just to have fun. So we're going to play, or we're going to make with the kissy face all day, huh? Do you realize I'm going to defeat you? Probably. Yes, yeah, sire! What? I said you probably will. I mean, you play this game a lot more than I do, and you know more tricks. Yes, I do, but... What are you trying to pull, huh? I'm just trying to have fun. Are we going to play, or what? check for $250,000. Yeah. This was some of the best gaming I've ever seen. I think Ricky and Alan would be really proud, Devo. I'll bet they were, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And that, my friends, is the story of one man, a man named Daniel Evans. To some, he was an enemy, to others a legend, but to his friends and those that knew him, he was known simply as Devo. Yeah, so you want another beer or what? Of course, I want another beer. Mm. Well, obviously this ungrateful little shit didn't appreciate the story, but I bet you all have a different opinion. It was full of tops and turns, and while it could be any sucker's life story, it's special in its own little way. Now, Devo and his friends are not exactly role models, but they set an example for all of us to follow. Live your life, and try to have some fun in the process. Y'all take care.
<laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you have an invitation? Well, no. I. Uh, We're gonna have to ask you to leave then. I'm afraid. What? Wait. What? What are you? Ah! Show you my magic door, your love's a game and I'm your game boy. <laughs> 